Hello everybody, welcome back to G Mama's World. Today I'm coming to you with a soul food mukbang. Uh, I have some green beans, glazed carrots, rice, and tomato and onion gravy over pork chops. So I'm going to let you guys see my plate and then I'm going to pray and we're going to eat. Oh, also I have my Dr. Pepper and I have some hot sauce here for my pork chop. Okay, guys. That's the veggies. I don't know if you, I'm going to have to pick it up one at a time, guys, because it's kind of heavy. That's that rice. That's that rice, y'all. Here the carrots. There's those carrots. Here's the green beans. Okay. And that's that steak, y'all. That poor child. Okay, guys, we're going to pray and we're going to get started. Before I get started, I want you guys to thumb up this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and let G Mama know if you want to see her cooking this meal, because I made the gravy. So uh, if you want to see that video, comment down below, and I'll post that video of me cooking this meal. And another thing, I want you to hit that notification bell so you'll know when G-Mama drop another video. Okay? So we're going to get started. This is going to be a short video, guys. I was just coming through to show my face on this lovely Saturday morning. How you guys doing so far? This time of day, you're probably full of bacon and eggs and pancakes and all that. G-Mama don't eat breakfast. So this is my lunch and my dinner. Because eating all this here this early, I won't be eating no more today. But I want to show you guys this meal that I cooked today for my husband. So I want to show it to you guys. While I was cooking it, I just went on and made a video. Pork chop is real tender, guys. And the gravy is not that thick gravy that you make with the, uh, with the uh, flour. It's just a thin gravy, basically, that you're making with the tomatoes and the onions and the meat droppings from your meat after you fry it. It's real easy, simple, you know. While you're preparing your veggies, you can do that. And meal's done in maybe 15 to 20 minutes, your meal is done. Adds a good flavor, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Very tender. I cook the pork chops on three minutes on one side, three minutes on the other side. You say, gee, mom, that meat ain't done. But once you put it in that gravy, you still cooking it. Just go check out that video. And let me know what else you want me to cook. Took all my meat off the bone. Y'all, this meat so good, I can't stop eating it. 
I'm gonna get something to eat big. What are you guys doing today? If you're not working. Who all hate working on weekends? I do not work like work well when I was working. I did not like working weekend. I did not like working that uh, graveyard shift either. I worked that shift when I was working in the hospital. And working in the hospital overnight, it's like that movie, The Graveyard Shift. I, <laughs> oh, that's all I thought about. Ooh, uh-uh. I didn't like it because the patient be asleep and the house was empty. Mm-mm-mm. Who these green beans are so good. It's that who remember that uh country rice? When the old folks from the country used to cook this butter rice, boil it in milk, and just a little water. And had them salmon croquettes, that butter rabbit syrup, and them hungry jack biscuits. Ooh, we Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. That was some eating. Mm -mm -mm. These veggies got it going on. Mm -hmm. That's why I said this is going to be a short video. I'm sure y'all my meat. <laughs> Look at my meat, y'all. And that was a big old poor child. Mm -mm -mm. That was a big poor child. I know I'm going to get the breakfast cut because I don't like thick pork chops. But when I know I'm going to make this gravy over, then I get the center cut because that gravy makes them tender. They fall, fall off the bone. See, the meat just fall off the bone. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, yeah. they pour it up like it's a cool one. It's just breaking apart, y'all. Look at how that bone is just breaking. The bone just coming loose. Mm -mm -mm. Get all that meat out of there. And you can only do that if that pork chop is tender. If that pork chop is tough, Lord Jesus. You know when you can cook something and it, it ain't cooked right. But they'll leave it on their plate and say, I'm going to take that home. <laughs> but 
But if they say, can I have some more? <laughs> if they say, yeah, can I have some more? Then you know you did something right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just tore the bone up. Yep, yep, yeah. I was doing my Saturday cleaning. Doing laundry and cooking. And my dryer went out. So now I got to go to the laundromat and it's cold out there. This time last year it was hot. That when uh fall is coming on in now. Mm mm mm. Coming on in. I could put this gravy and the little onion, tomato pizzas on my rice. I wasn't even thinking. And it's real pretty when you add the green and yellow bell peppers. It makes it real pretty and colorful. I've been doing some real good feedbacks on that coupon video I did. So I'll be, be dropping another one on Thursday. So you all stay tuned and check it out. Good information. Save you a lot of money. Especially you guys with the babies and the family. I should have bought, got a spoon because my carrots is, I took them, they falling apart. I started cooking my veggies real tender and soft like this when I had my kids. You know, I wasn't on any kind of assistant in anything, and I was in beauty school. So I started cooking a, uh, cooking the veggies, going to the market and cooking fresh veggies and uh, cook them down real low till they became mushy, like 
you know, because I made their food. Because I couldn't afford baby food. So. But they're real good and good taste. And they're not smushy like the baby food. But <laughs> that's when I start cooking them like the glazed carrots and all that kind of stuff. I'm not no chef. It just, you know, how I used to cook them and I still cook them like that. Y'all, I got to pick the bowl up to get it. Because I don't have, I, I forgot to get a spoon. And they so good. Y'all comment down below what y'all think I, how y'all think I did with that, uh, them nuggets. Them nuggets woke me out. Them chicken nuggets woke me out. I thought I was going to be dreaming about chicken nuggets. Mm-mm-mm. Now they got one going around with them, them hot wings. I want to do that challenge, but not them together. That's too much hotness. Woo! No, no, no. That's too much hotness. My daughters, they had them wings. And they said them wings ain't nothing to play with. So if they ain't nothing to play with, I don't want them. I may do one at a time, but I ain't going to do no 20. Just asking for trouble. Trouble I don't need. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I finally put up all that candy that I bought after the Halloween sale. I didn't know I had that much. Ooh, Lord, it was a lot. But I got bowls all over my house, and I filled up the bowls. It's not that much chocolate, but I fill up all the bowls. So, mm hmm. Now, <coughs> the mom is almost done. This meat is so good. I should have got two. But I got I got the biggest one, I thought. And I said, I ain't gonna need no more if I get the big one. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all say, why you got them veggies in them bowls? <laughs> Gee, mama don't like her veggies touching. Them green beans and them carrots got juice. And I don't want it running all into each other. Mm-mm. 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 
And plus, it was easy for me to show it to you. Yep, yep, yep. They making them uh Christmas commercials already. They bypassing Thanksgiving. I think they have that what they call that Black Friday on Thanksgiving Day. I have never went to them one of those. Because I don't want to be Trump at the deal. Trying to get no darn TV for no ten dollar list than what the original price is. So if you gonna answer this here, y'all comment down below. If Thanksgiving is to give thanks and be around the ones you love, which is your family, how many of y'all eat and then go catch themselves? Comment down below. <clears throat> mm hmm And comment down below, is Christmas for the kids or is it for the grown-ups? Who look forward for Christmas? Who look more for, uh, forward to Christmas than those of the kids? That's what I'm asking. Not you ones that don't have kids. And you got kids, do you look forward for Christmas more than your kids? So someone can't wait for their kids to get grown. They be want to give. I know I do. So do. I want to give if it ain't if it ain't Christmas. I want to give. Yeah. <clears throat> you can tell the difference in the. The other, the seafood move on than the soul food. Because then my man ain't hard doing no drinking. And I'm almost full. I guess that seafood with all that butter sauce to have you thirsty. Because I can eat all my green beans, all my carrots, all my meat. I still got a lot, a lot of joint. Normally, I be feeling that cup up again. Mm hmm. Y'all know. Y'all know. This is so good. I want to make this video before I got busy and forgot. I either ate and forgot. So I went on and made it. But it's too early in the day to be feeling like I'm feeling. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, y'all. Yep, y'all. Yep, y'all. G Mama is doing just a little ride, just a little bit. G Mama is done. See that? All that is fat and bones. Ain't nothing left on that, honey. 
Gee, mama, handle up on her business today. Mm-hmm. All this trash. Yes, gee, mama did it today. She did. I handled up today. So, I told y'all this video was going to be short. G Mama just wanted to come and show her face today. I said while I was cooking, why not drop a video of me cooking this meal? And then why not drop a video of me eating this meal before I got busy? So I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you want to see that video I made of me cooking this meal. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when G-Mama drop another new video. Subscribe to my channel and tell each and every one what G-Mama is doing over here in her world. And like this video, okay? And most importantly, share, share, share this video. I don't know if my videos are being shared, but please share the videos, okay? And if ain't nobody told you today that they love you, please do believe me when I say I do, okay? G Mama love everybody, okay? So you all be safe, be sweet, take care of yourself out here in these streets, have a safe weekend. If G Mama don't see you, Tomorrow or Monday, y'all have a safe weekend in these streets, okay? Watch out for your surroundings. Be blessed, okay? And G-Mama see y'all soon. She come back with another video. Peace.